tons of people requested this last year and now finally here is my review Selamat pagi! Good morning everyone, Kenneth here and today we will talk about the Transmart Spunky Beat. Last year, this thing caught everybody's attention because of its Qualcomm 3020 chip and a very affordable price tag. When I look at it though, I was skeptical. The first question that came to my mind was just how good really this chip is? It only brings AppTech support, right? Turns out, I was wrong. Now before starting, I'd appreciate if you click thumbs up button, also subscribe for more reviews like this. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me a message on my social medias down in the comments below, anywhere is fine. And let's get right into the first thing that impressed me the most, the sound quality. When I first unboxed it, I was comparing it with much more expensive MPOW T5 and Liprotect Tevi reviews coming soon. But now that I've taken my time comparing this to my current champion at 20 bucks range, the Halo GT1, and also more earbuds at its price range, now I can say for sure that the Transmart Spunky Beat destroys their competition. And that's in terms of sound quality alone. Now, this claim comes with a few caveats. First, it is a bit more expensive at 25 bucks, but still not as expensive as the QCYT1 Pro. And secondly, for most of my time, I'm using the medium sized Halo ear tips here. That allows me to get a better seal, better fit, and better bass. I'll talk about that in a bit. But currently, I'm testing out foam ear tips. You can use that too. It fits inside the case. The case is great. I'm gonna talk about it later too. <laughs> okay, now let's get into the real question. How? Does this really sound? And Liprotect Tevi is actually the answer. I don't have it with me right now. I know it's a crazy comparison, but this thing has really similar characteristics to the Tevi. It presents the vocals first with all the other instruments really nicely backing up behind it. Now, of course, the clarity of the Tevi is still on another level, especially the instrument separation. You can really hear the placement on the Tevi well, whereas on the Transmart is a little bit muddy. But now, compared to the Halos and QCYs, it's just not a comparison anymore. This thing feels out of place, or actually it fills a gap where no earbuds sounded like this before. Vocals are much clearer, so listening to rock and instrumentals are just clearly better here. And on EDM songs, especially if you have changed the ear tips, it's almost as punchy as the halo we have here, which is great. Now this doesn't mean that the halo sounds bad. I just happen to listen to a lot of rock music, Japanese rock also, acoustics, and this is just a much better sound characteristics to my taste. Now the question will be how the Halo GT1 Plus will stack up. And also Transmut own Onyx Neo, which I'll unbox soon. How will it sound? And also, what is the difference with this one? <laughs> Speaking about battery life, this is another point where the Qualcomm chip inside is doing wonders. This tiny, tiny earbud, smaller than even the Halo, can play music for six to seven hours. Six to seven hours, that's almost twice as the Halo non-stop playing music. And that is also playing at 70% volume, not 50% suitable for listening outdoors for me. It's just like the Halo, it doesn't sound very, very loud like the Sabbath, but there you go. At this price, I think, what you get here is insane. Also, this case, while not being a very large battery inside, it only has 350 milliamp hour. The case might actually drain a little bit too quickly for you, but charging is super simple. You've got USB-C right here and an included charging cable. It's just the best of both worlds. And also not to mention, you can check the battery really easily with a battery indicator in front here. And I have to charge mine. <laughs> Now, just like the Edifier TWS-1, the true wireless experience with this Qualcomm chip is better than master-slave configuration we see in the older QCYs and Halos. So turning on first time will automatically put it to pairing mode. And when you pair to one, your phone will automatically prompt you to pair to the other one. So you have two pairings of the same name, 
One is the left side and one is the right side and no matter which side you take, they will try to find your phone first. So when everything is off, the earbuds you take first is going to be the master earbud and the other one will be the slave. But one limitation starts to show up here. If you happen to place, for example, you're using both, you place the master earbud back into the case, music will stop and then this will start searching for your phone and connect. It doesn't take too much time, but still, you cannot really seamlessly switch between the two earbuds and that is where the updated QCY and Halos win with their dual mode configuration. Okay, Qualcomm chip is great and all, but here I start to have some problems. Not on the case though, the case is awesome. For 25 bucks, you get literally everything one could ask for. A compact design that's not too tall, so it fits well in pockets, like right there and a battery indicator, Type-C charging port, it even gives you a built-in USB-A cable as I've mentioned, and a far leather lanyard. This case design is miles better than the Halo we have here, unless you're looking for a very compact case. And also this lid closes very easily, but it's 25 bucks, so I won't complain on that. But once you open it, the earbuds is not as good. So talking about the earbuds, this earbud has a rather unusual shape. If you take a dough and slam it flat, then put an ear tip on one end, this will be it. The design makes it fiddly to have a good fit because just how thin it is. But actually, I think you just don't have a good fit with the included ear tips. I find the best place is to let it sit on your ear and not get too deep inside your ear. And like how a more traditional in-ear tips work, which like the foam ear tip here is very long, it gets very deep inside your ear and it blocks the outside noise very well. The included ear tips makes it feel insecure, have little noise isolation, but on the plus side, you can barely feel that it's there. You can still hear more of the things around you and I think it hits a good middle ground between a totally open AirPod style ear tips and an in-ear. Tips. I've also seen this type of ear tips before on the Bose Quiet Comfort, so I think you might not like it at first, but you can get used to it. For me though, I just put my Halo ear tips on. You can get any of the ear tips around your house and stick it here, it'll most likely work. And it makes this thing even better. Because of the better noise isolation, makes the bass even more punchy. Also, if you're the foam tips type, you can put on your 5mm ear tips here, and the case will take it like it's nothing. You don't have to squeeze too hard, it just fits right there. And for the price of this thing, I just can't believe what I have on the case here. It's everything that I demand on 50 bucks, now we have it on something, it's just half the price. Now before talking about the main problem, so fit is like the lesser problem here, let's check out the latency of the earbuds. Okay, problem time. What have I not mentioned yet in this video is controls. The good news is, it has volume control. The bad news is, it's a super fiddly one in a confusing arrangement. Let me explain. So, most of us, I believe, are used to skipping songs, going to the next song on the right, right? And previous song on the left. Here, it's all flipped. One tap is player pause still on both earbuds. Two taps is voice assistant. But two second hold on the right goes to the previous song. While two second hold on the left goes to the next song. Three tap on the right is volume control. It goes down. And three taps on the left 
goes up. It seems like kind of the master earbud is on the left here and the controls when only using one side will not change. So I think it's better for you to use left side only as opposed to right side only because you cannot next song that way. Now the problem is not that it's flipped. I'm okay with that. It's a sensitivity. The touch area is not only on the center region here, as one might expect, but it's also the glossy side all over right there. So you can touch it just like that, you can touch it like this, it registers a touch. And sometimes the touch sensor would lock up, doesn't work at all. The other time, I just don't touch anything, leave it in my ear just like that, and it turns off by itself, which means it detects a five second touch, right? Most probably it's moist or it's detecting my ear as touch. And to be honest, this doesn't happen often. It's only one time during my unboxing and one other time during my week of using this. But I tell you, there is no way for you to adjust or take the earbuds on and off without triggering something. Fortunately, helmet, clothing or pillows doesn't trigger touches but sometimes with wet raincoat or if there is any skin under your clothing it can trigger the touch sensor so yeah this control is better than halo on paper but i think i prefer the sensitivity there or even the spunky pro which i just unboxed it's better than this. I hope the Onyx Neo will be better than this. Let's do the call test and this is another point where the Qualcomm chip really brings this up another level I guess. The clarity is much better compared to the Halo in my opinion despite not having the stem design. Do let me know down in the comments below if you would like me to compare this to this or to GT1 Pro or whatever like Transmart versus Halo fight. <laughs> Okay, so right now we are with the Transmart Spunky Beat and what do you think of the sound quality? I think it should sound good because of the Qualcomm chip inside. And again, we cannot test the switching between two earbuds because these basically still is master-slave configuration. But yeah, that's it for now. Let's go outdoors and we'll check how it sounds outside. What do you think of the sound quality? Is that any different from the indoor call test you just heard? And we've got some... Uh, people talking right there so yeah tell me if my sound is clearer if you can hear my clearer and also right now i want to do another test is to talk with the hoodies on which we usually do actually so can you do this will you be able to hear the rubbing voice of the earbuds rubbing with the hoodie right here right now okay so i'm gonna take that off again because i'm afraid that this whole footage would be uh, useless if I just keep using that hoodie. So this is it. This is the outdoor call test. Tell me what you think of the sound quality. I think this should be much better than a Halo, based on my experience. Just solely because of the Qualcomm chip inside there. So yeah, that's it. Let's go back upstairs and finish the video. Finally! <sighs> Let's sum this video up. The Transmart Spunky Beat, one still in my ear, is my new top 20 to 30 dollar true wireless earbuds it's got a clear sound that's great for rock acoustics and any real instruments alike and i think it will perform good in any genre it goes as loud as the halo so it's not very loud but i think for most people it will be its charging case has literally everything you can ask and the qc3020 chip really brings this true wireless earbuds experience together good enough true wireless experience great battery life great call quality and this really punches above its price tag now the problem is the included ear tips are not your normal in-ear tips which you might not like probably could be a hassle for you to buy another ear tips and whatnot and most importantly the touch controls are too sensitive there's no way you can hold it without triggering something and lastly there's a slight background hiss when you're not hearing anything but i don't hear it at all when music is playing so you decide for yourself for me these cons are well worth it considering the price and all the good things about it what about you? Let me know down in the comments below. I know this will be one heck of a long video, so I'll end it right now. And sampai jumpa. And also sampai jumpa to you, Halo. I have recorded this, but the FaceTime failed. I have to redo this again. I live in a seventh floor. Oh my goodness. So yeah, doing this for you guys. <laughs>